Valentine's Day is coming up and if you have a loved one you need to think of an idea to give them. Sure you can go with the flower and chocolate combo if uh, your loved one is a girl, if it's a boy then you can go with a wine or chocolate or with a mug. But if you'd like to be a little bit more creative than this, this is the right video for you. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I'll show you four awesome gift ideas that you can create with the Wondershare Uniconverter. The Wondershare Uniconverter is an all-in-one video creating tool. If you want to try it, you can download it using the links in the description. The first gift idea is going to be travel photos. For this gift we're going to use the background remover tool. Go on the left side to the toolbox and click on the background remove. You can drag and drop files or just click right over here and select the files you'd like to remove the background from. Now the background remover can batch remove background from images. So if you have all of them selected, it will remove the background from all of them. If you only have a few selected, then it will remove only from those. But now we're going to remove from all of them. So click start. And once it's finished, you can hover your mouth over the thumbnails of the images and you can click on the edit button. Now this will open up an image editor where you can see that now these images have transparent backgrounds and you can select a background color for them or just use one of the preset images. Obviously, you can also add your custom image, and I'm going to use this one right now. And I can do the same with this next image. I can also select a custom color, not only the ones that you see listed there. But this time, I'm going to go with this preset image. And once you're done, just click Save. And now I have these images with the replaced backgrounds. Super easy, right? The next gift is going to be a cute reaction video using the screen recorder tool that you can find on the left side panel here. You can select a custom aspect ratio, but I think it's always best to just record the entire screen. You can turn on the microphone if you want to talk as well. You can use your built-in microphone or an external one. And as we want to use the picture-in-picture -picture mode in this case, I'm going to turn on the webcam as well. And once you're done, you can just click record and it will record your computer's screen and your face simultaneously so you can react to the slideshow that you just created. And now you can just talk about the images bring up memories about how much you love them and how much you miss them. It can really be a cute gift. And once the recording is done, you can import it straight away into the video editor where you can trim the video down. But we'll talk about video editing in another video in more detail. Number three is a music CD using the CD burner. You can access the CD burner on the left side panel and click CD burner. You can drag and drop the files that you'd like to burn to the CD or just click here and select them manually. It's best if you use their favorite music because it will make a perfect little CD that they can listen to anytime. And once you're done and you also selected your CD burner device, just click burn. And the last one is a cute GIF using the GIF Maker. So to create a GIF, open up the Uniconverter. On the left side panel, click on the Toolbox menu. And then right here, the GIF Maker. You can make GIFs out of a video and photos as well. First of all, we're going to make a GIF out of a video. You can import files by drag and dropping the files here from your media browser or click right over here and select it from your media browser. You can create a GIF out of the entire video, but you can just select the part, for example, like beginning, in the middle, 
around the end you know whichever one you like i think the best is to go with a length of around five seconds but right now i'm going to make a gif out of the entire video here you can select the frame rate it's best to go with the video's original frame rate you can resize the video here as well if you click right over here you can add text to it and then if you click on the t button here you can select a different font different size for the text as well and obviously a different color too you can also handpick your color if you open up the color bars here but we're gonna go with one of the preset colors now and if you click and drag on the text you can move it around and place it wherever you'd like for this video though I will not use the text so I'm just gonna delete it down here you can select the output folder for the GIF and then once you have set up everything, just click create GIF. And now we have the GIF right here. Now like I said, you can also create a GIF out of photos as well. For that in the GIF maker, switch to photos to GIF. And then here you can also drag and drop files from your media browser, click right over here. And you can select up to 20 photos for a GIF. By click and drag on them, you can change the order of them. By clicking right over here, you can always add more images to your GIF. But like I said, the maximum is 20 images at once. Down here, you can change the aspect ratio and output size. We're going to make this smaller a little. Right here, you can select the frame rate. It will determine the speed of the GIF. So for example, if I make it 60, it will be really fast and you won't be able to see anything of it. So if it's for example 1 FPS, it will show one image for one second, but I think two is just fine. Right here you can select the output folder. And once you have set up everything, just click create GIF. And then you'll find the GIF in your output folder. Beautiful. And there you go! So easy, right? Which one was your favorite? Mine is number three. And do you have any awesome Valentine's Day gift ideas? Let us know in the comment section below and let's help each other, right? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.